Okay, it's 20 after 6. Friday, July 26th. And I'm leaving at 6.20 p.m. And I'm heading in from South Meadow. And the idea is to make it to Lake Holden today. <clears throat> or tonight, which is in a couple of hours. So I got about two, uh, two and a half hours of decent light. <clears throat> Probably two hours of decent light. I'm going to be in a valley. But it'll be visible for a while. And I'll uh, throw my headlamp on if I have to. Okay, 624. And I'm... Just signed in, taking the Marcy Truck Trail is what they call it. It's almost 2.8 miles to Marcy Dam. And then uh, from there, I got another three and a half miles or so, four miles to uh, Lake Holden where I'll be slinging up and camping for the night. Okay, so that's the high water bridge just underneath Marcy Dam. So it's about five after seven right now. And I'm just about to Marcy Dam. Okay, just past Marcy Dam, 3.6 at least to the Colden Outpost. Okay, there's a split. You go that way, you go up to Lake Arnold and you can hit Colden, or you go through uh, like to the Feldspar lean too. So I'm heading through Avalanche Lake to the interior outpost here. And I've come 3.7, it says in South Meadows right there. And I'm going 2.4 more. Okay, it's about 7.35. And I'm going to start the climb up into Avalanche Pass now. Not too much. I think it's like 600 feet maybe. Shouldn't take too long. And I'm just coming in to Avalanche Pass. It's this little narrow you know, pass takes you between Colden and, and the McIntyre range.
All right, made it to Avalanche Lake. About 8.15. Still got a little ways to go. I gotta get to the end of this little valley. cool things about coming through avalanche passes there's a lot of this stuff where you're coming over these huge boulders and there's these ladders and these planks set up for you but I'll tell you it is slow and you got to watch your step Things just bolted right into the side of the cliff. Otherwise, there's no other way through this. Unless you want to swim. It's getting dark. There's a look up the trap dike that goes up cold and which is a really cool way to ascend cold. And I haven't done it up the trap dike, but it's definitely on the list. And we're making our way through Avalanche Lake here. We'll finish, we'll get to the end of the lake and then there'll be a little area in between and then you'll hit Lake Colden. And I'm gonna call it quits there where it meets up with the opalescent I'm gonna sleep there for the night. It's 10.15 and I got camp all set up. And now I'm just gonna try to doze off. There's not much to see. I kind of camped illegally because it's packed in here tonight. There's like no places anywhere, so I'm a little too close to the water, but it sounds really nice. And uh, this is how I'm going to sleep tonight. So it's quarter of seven. Saturday the 27th and I'm just packing up camp for my first night here at Lake Holden and camp next to the Appalachian here I'm not supposed to be this close to the river but this is what I had to do last night because it was packed here last night and it turns out that I came in around 9 30 last night and I saw a guy when I came in and he said my backpack's missing he had his dog with him and it was kind of a weird conversation and um i didn't really think that much of it i thought his friends were kind of screwing with him or something but i just saw a woman and she came by and she said i'm looking for my day pack um she said there was a lot of bear activity here last night around 8 30 p.m and i came in right afterwards but there's a couple people missing their pack she's missing her day pack with her passports in it I'm not sure if he ever found his pack. He had food in there. But, uh, yeah, at dusk, you better have your food put away or else um, 
they're gonna come, the bears are gonna come, and they're gonna take whatever they can get their hands on and see if there's some food in there. Okay, 7.45. Getting a little bit later start than I wanted, but this is okay. Uh, one of the caretakers just came by and was sort of talking about the bear activity and he's filling me in some information. So I sat and chatted with him, put them all packed up, had some coffee, had a little bit of a croissant and I'm gonna start heading up the opalescent here to do Cliff and Redfield this morning. So I'm starting up, just dropped my pack. I'm going with a day pack now. I'm heading up cliff, it's five of nine. And that suction sound you just heard was my boot almost getting pulled off my foot. It is an absolute mud pit here. About halfway up cliff. <clears throat> and this is why it's called cliff. Just about to go up this cliff here. And it's a lot of scrambling, rock scrambling, and kind of just boulder hopping. But I just want to get a sense for this. And come on. 9.15. Coming up the real steep part. Almost to the fall summit now. Decent views here. Hey there. Summit of Cliff, 940. Okay. It's 11 a.m. on the money. I'm still at the junction for uh, Cliff and Redfield. I'm just about to start off for Red. I've uh, rearranged my pack, washed my gaiters, and I'm gonna take my poles and my fanny pack and Redfield, here I come. Some of the Redfield. It's 12:30. Some pretty decent views to the south here. That's Allen Mountain right there. 